guys, it's Sarah from All Converse Ladies and I know this seems like a weird environment to make a video but I haven't really had much time recently to check out the news as I've been really busy but I've noticed that Stellar has launched its long-awaited decentralized exchange Stell X on the 20th of September of 2018 where the co-creator of Stellar X Chris announced the launch of the decentralized exchange. So it's obviously massive news for Stellar and I just couldn't resist to make a video. So I'm really hoping that the audio is going to be okay. And actually there's a good way to try out the new lighting, I think. It's quite good to have some daylight instead of, you know, a fake light all the time. So Stellar Exchange, Stellex, is looking forward to the most popular place to trade in the world. And it is still very early to claim that, but it's achievable, starting with a few basic values. So one of the main things for Stellar Decentralized Exchange is the fact that it's totally free for trading, probably the only among other exchanges. Because exchanges all charge per trade, even the free trading platform like Robinhood profits from its users' idol funds. For the more users of Ethereum DX, IDX, Ether Delta, and many more, they have to pay for it. And this is too expensive nowadays, so StellarX provides its users the best platform to trade without any expenses. So like I said, using Stellar X takes no fees and even more than it. A refund or network cost. This is something no other decentralized exchange has ever done before. All along this, the user have sole command over their assets, so whenever there's interest, it's all users. Star have even written their own fee out of their agreements with deposits partners who they found, often put in a percentage. And XLM are not here for a cut, but moreover, they are here to redefine how assets are moved around the globe. So how has Stellar X chosen to afford this no fee trading? Briefly, Stellar X has chosen the right tech. The traders and orders are native to XLM, not a layer that has been to be overlapped through relayers or smart contracts. And the XLM consensus mechanism requires no work or stake. And that means that it doesn't use your capital to function. Another thing I really like about Stellar X is the accessibility. So StellarX has a real fiat on-ramp. This is a first for a decentralized platform. If the users have a US bank account, they can deposit dollars directly through ACH, which is inside the app of StellarX. StellarX also shows tokens for euros, Philippine pesos, Nigerian naira, Chinese yuan, Hong Kong dollar, and British pounds as well. So I'm quite happy about it. And it will add in app deposits and withdrawals for these as soon as their issuers support StellarX standards. So StellarX will also accept a full suite of Forex stablecoins in the next few months. So StellarX will be a local exchange for many countries that at the moment have actually nothing. So this sounds all amazing, I think. Personally, I'm extremely bullish on it, but it's quite interesting to see what else they've actually got planned. So in the upcoming days, they will add the following, which will include a night mode which I personally use for pretty much every website. If you guys look at my Twitter, you know I like to use the night mode, a mobile site, and much more improvements with better token stats and charting library, and many more characteristics will be added. So the customers of Stellar and StellarX, stay tuned to more updates on the decentralized exchange, StellarX. So after all those bullish news, I'm personally really bullish on it. I've always been a fan of Stellar. Let's check out how the Stellar token's doing. So it's currently on CoinGecko, it's number 13, and market cap, it's number six, currently trading at 24 cents, and it's up 1%. Stellar is actually down only 72% from its all-time high, which was nine months ago, and the all-time high price was 87 cents. One of the reasons why I really like CoinGecko is because all the information is on the website, and I'm not trying to shill it or anything, I just really like the website. Anyway, guys, if you enjoy my content and you think this was quite good and you learned something, you hit the like button. Remember to subscribe to All Bus Ladies. Follow us on Twitter. And if you like my style as well, follow me at All Queen Sarah, where you know, I post normal stuff. Sometimes it's stupid posting and sometimes it's legit. So I hope you all have a good one and you can forgive me the environment. But I thought I might as well make a use of some time between the flights. I'm off to Toronto. So see you all there. Bye bye.